Introducing an innovative accessory for the OptiTherm thermostatic tap from Horn Engineering. For infection prevention purposes, it is increasingly common to treat water supplies and terminal fittings to guard against harmful bacteria such as Pseudomonas and Legionella. Disinfection of water systems by thermal means is the only method that is fully penetrative and ensures that microorganisms within any present biofilm are killed. This unique accessory for the OptiTherm thermostatic tap, the thermal disinfection adapter, allows 60 degrees Celsius water to thermally disinfect the internal surfaces and mechanisms. As a safety precaution, cordon off the hand wash station and set up appropriate signage to prevent staff, patients and visitors from touching the tap whilst it is being sanitised and during its subsequent cool down. To set up the thermal disinfection adapter, first isolate the water supplies at the integral ball valves located underneath the tap spigot. Remove the tap's bottom cover cap using a strap wrench. Using a hex key, unscrew and remove the hot and cold strainer and check valve cartridges. Disassemble the thermal disinfection adapter. Then insert the hot side cylinder of the adapter identified by the red-coloured O-ring, into the left-hand void left by the hot strainer check valve cartridge and screw into place. Now insert the cold side cylinder of the adapter, identified by the blue-coloured O-ring, into the right-hand void. Connect the bridging piece to the hot side and cold side cylinders, then tighten the captive nuts. The valve is now set up for sanitising with hot water at system temperature. Open the hot side isolation valve under the tap spigot and then fully open the left hand mixed water lever. The hot water flows into the hot side of the thermal disinfection adapter, then into the bridging piece and past the dial thermometer, which indicates when the water supply has reached system temperature. For accurate measurement of the hot supply temperature or pressure, a calibrated temperature or pressure probe can be inserted into the binder point on the opposite side of the bridging piece. The hot water flow continues up through the cold cylinder to the cold entry port of the mixing chamber. It can take up to two minutes for the tap body to reach full system temperature, as shown in the thermal imaging video here. The control of Legionella bacteria in water systems, approved code of practice, L8, recommends that after reaching system temperature, the hot water should be flushed through the tap for at least five minutes to ensure complete disinfection. This process increases the temperature of the entire tap body, pervading the metal and reaching any microorganisms present. Note how the entire tap body reaches 60 degrees Celsius, but the levers remain close to ambient temperature. Once complete, close the flow with a mixed water lever and isolate the hot water supply at the integral isolating valve in the spigot. After allowing the tap and thermal disinfection adapter to cool, disassemble the adapter. Hold the dial thermometer with one hand and disengage the captive nuts from the bridging piece with your other hand. Using a hex key, remove the hot and cold cylindrical sections and replace the strainer check valve cartridges into the voids. Note that these are not interchangeable. Replace the bottom cover cap and tighten using the strap wrench. Reopen the isolating valves. Now run cold water to aid cooling. As a safety precaution, keep the wash station cordoned off until the tap surface has returned to a safe temperature. The OptiTherm thermal disinfection adapter is very effective for disinfecting the internal spaces and mechanism of the thermostatic tap. Unlike using chemicals, heat treatment is inherently searching and rapidly spreads through the entire tap body, reaching any microorganisms present. It is important to note that this procedure, however, does not replace the need for periodic system flushing at full bore, where the increase in water velocity serves to shear biofilm from the internal pipe surfaces and remove it to drain. This system flushing process reduces the potential for colonisation of the downstream pipe system and terminal fittings.
Regular system flushing, together with periodic thermal disinfection, will significantly reduce the risk of bacterial colonisation and infection, whilst enabling compliance with current regulations and approved codes of practice.